All right, you guys, welcome to the Hangman video walkthrough here. Uh, here's the project description. I'll link it in uh, the comments or down below the video. So I'm going to start by just going to Replit, creating a new REPL. Um, some of you might want to use the turtle for the Hangman art. That'd be totally okay if you want to do that. Uh, whoops, type in turtle. And there's Python with turtle as a different language on here. But if you're not going to use the turtle, then whoops, then we're just going to open up with some Python. Um, I'm going to call this Hangman Project 2021. Okay. So now that it's created, the first thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to pause the video so you guys don't watch me do it, but I'm going to outline everything. Okay. So first I'm going to import libraries, define the functions. And so I'm just going to set these five pieces up right here. Right. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import, whoops, libraries, modules, packages right here. And then after that, I'm going to define uh, my functions right here. And I'll probably even give some more headers there. And then I'm going to make a main game loop. Whoops. <laughs> main game loop so you can play games over and over. Right. And then inside there, so I'm going to tab over because this will be inside that loop. Then we're going to set up all of the variables for a single game. So you like set up, pick a word, split it up, get everything ready, numbers of guesses, all that. And then we're going to start a single game loop. Okay. And I'm going to add to that. I'm going to say play until you win or lose that game. Right. And then after that, I'll even add some more comments. I'll say, uh, ask if the player wants to play again. Right. And I mean, that's basically the, the outline of our program as is. Okay. So we're going to import some stuff up here to find some functions. We're going to start a loop. And what that loop does is it keeps playing game after game. So like after you play a single game, it can restart, set up the variables and play another game. So very first thing is set up all the variables, play that game. And this will go guess, 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 guess you lose. Do you want to play again? Okay. Main game loop, set up the variables, play another game. Guess, 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 guess you win. So that's the basic outline. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the project description. I'm just going to copy and paste all this in here. Okay. So required variable. Number one, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go over my project and right here where it's set up all the variables. I'm going to paste it. Now this is, uh, this is a word. So it's a string. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to add equals and empty. Whoops. An empty string for now because I haven't set it up yet. Um, and then I'm going to add the little description above it. Okay. Like this. And now because this isn't a very good header, I'm going to add some just like a uh, style to it. So I don't know, maybe just add some hashtags, make it like copy and paste. So there we go. So now it's like a little box. Okay. And you can at the end add like one little hashtag here. So now we got a box just saying I'm setting up variables here and we could even make it shorter. Um, but the idea here is just showing this is a section of code we're working on. And now I'm going to set up all the variables. So what I'm going to do is pause the video and one by one, I'm going to copy all of my variables and all of my functions into my project just with one little hashtag above it where I have the description. So that way I know what everything's supposed to do. All right. All right. So I pasted these in now. Um, these are just the headers, I put the little design around them with comments. Um, and then in here for the functions, all I did was write def before them. So I'm defining a function and then colon and inside I just wrote pass. So pass is just, um, if I don't put that in there, I get an error. It's like, how can you get to like another thing down here? Like if I put a, a whoa, all caps, um, if I put a print statement here, then I'm going to get an error. And the reason is, is because I should have something indented after I define a function and I don't same thing with like an if statement or a loop. So instead I just put pass, which does nothing, but it avoids an error. So it's just saying, I'm going to fill this in later. Okay. So I've got all my functions. I've got all my variables set up. So in this first video, after setting that up, I'm just going to define um, most of the functions here. Okay. Actually, you know what? No, let's go through and actually set up the game loops. Okay. So down here, we want to set up a single game loop 
and up here we want to set up the main game loop. So for the main one, you could just say while well, true and then break out of it if you want. That's totally acceptable. Um, however, you also want to avoid using too many while true loops just in general when you're coding. Um, later on, oh man, can it lead to a headache. So in general, let's be more specific. So you want to play as long as the person wants to play the game. So let's do something like play again equals, uh, I don't know, let's do capital Y. And then let's say while play again equals equals, whoops, capital Y. I'm on a new keyboard here. It's for all the typos. Uh, so now it'll trigger, right? I set it to capital Y, so it's going to play. And then what that lets us do is down here, then we can say, um, let's get an input. I don't know. Let's say, what was it called? Play again. Yeah. So let's say play again equals input would you like to play again. Now in parentheses, I'm going to put a capital Y, capital no. However, you might get, whoops, uh, you might get people putting things in weird. So this input, every input comes in as a string, right? So what you could do with that string, any string object, you can just go dot and use one of the methods. So I'm going to go dot upper. Okay. So that would let us see whether we want to play again. So right now I could still test my function. Let's just see how it goes. Oh, we've got, um, what is the error here? Um, what did I put in wrong here? Oh, it was the backslash. So backslash capital N, that's a first one, man. I have not run into that. Uh, so backslash lowercase n, that's an escape sequence. So when you use a backslash and a string, not like that actually in quotes, uh, that's an escape sequence. It's read as a single character, hence why it changes color there. So the backslash capital N must be um, some sort of single character. I don't know. That's interesting. Okay. So if I type yes, it's going to let me play again. If I type lowercase yes, because I convert it to upper before I save it, it should still work. But if I type no, the loop should end. There we go. And then I could even outside of the loop here say, okay, goodbye, right? Um, something you could even say more, right? It's your game. Make it, make it your own. So like, I hope you had fun. Yeah, typing on a totally new keyboard is really difficult. <laughs> I'm on a new laptop, which is like half the size, so it's tiny. All right, um, so I've got the main loop playing. I can play again. That's great. Now I want the inner game loop, which I'm not going to be able to play test as much. But the single game loop here is going to be while uh, basically haven't won yet and haven't lost yet. Like that's the basic idea. And then here I will ask for a guess and then if already guessed do one thing uh elif so it's not already guessed correct uh and then else right if it's not a thing that's already been guessed before and it's not correct then it must be wrong okay so that's kind of the basics there but of course before we ask for a guess we should like print the information right and this can be um you know in any variety of ways but the most basic that i write up in the project is you just print the hangman word as a string so just star star h star star o like oh yeah what am i gonna do there and part of that is so i'm just gonna add here that's um the hangman word as a string and the ascii art so there should be some progress being made with the art now I'm going to comment this out because that's just kind of a ballpark of what I should do. Uh, I can actually write it out. So while and haven't won yet, that would mean we have a function that checks if you won. So you would say check completed. That's the function that the entire job is to take it in the hangman word and it checks if there's any asterisks and it just tells you whether the game is still going or not. So it returns false if the game is still going. So what we want down here, for haven't won yet is we want check completed 
when we hang send in the hangman word. So we're just checking, have we guessed every single letter? Wouldn't the answer be no? Okay, so we haven't won the game yet. We haven't guessed every single letter. And we haven't lost yet. Now, haven't lost yet, simple guesses, right? It's up to you whether zero is a win or a loss. So I'm just gonna double click it and copy it. So this is greater than zero. I'm gonna say zero is death. It's kind of arbitrary, but it's totally up to you. Uh, that was actually a meme I saw on the internet the other day. When you have one life left, it's like, is this my last life? It was Fry from Futurama, or do I have one more? Okay, anyways, and then we're gonna figure this all out. So we got our loop. I'm gonna put a pass in there just so we don't have any errors, but then we're gonna slowly figure this all out, okay? So I'm gonna stop there. That was just a layout of the program, nothing else.